I'm KHU 11 meteorologist Chris Ramirez. We are tracking the activity out in the tropics. Of course, that disturbance that's uh, over the Yucatan Peninsula, uh, that has now a 40% chance of development within the next seven days. Last night, we were at a 30% chance. So the National Hurricane Center showing signs that this system uh, will become better organized as we head into the coming days. That system very well likely to send some tropical moisture our way in the form of rain chances for next week. But we're really going to have have to pay attention where the center of that low uh, is located as we head into the coming days. The weather models are showing that uh, they're in agreement, the GFS and European, that the center of that low is likely to head into central Mexico uh, just between Tampico and north of Veracruz. So if that happens, that's good news for us here across southeast Texas. That doesn't mean that we're not going to see rain chances, but that means that most of the heavier rain activity is going to remain well to the south of us, uh, depending on how well organized that system becomes in the coming days. Lots of uncertainty with this system, but what we do know is that we are expecting rain chances along the upper Texas coast as we head into Father's Day evening. We're going to be mostly dry for the weekend, but Sunday night is when we're expecting those showers to be at play, especially for our coastal area. So isolated showers and storms for Sunday becoming more widespread going from Monday through Wednesday as we head into much of next week. So it's going to be long lasting. We could see some downpours at times, but just keep in mind that uh, depending on how organized that system becomes well south of us, that could suck up most of the moisture and send most of the rain chances south of us as we head into the coming days. But like I said, lots of uncertainty. We're really not going to get a better understanding of this system until we see that organization of that low uh, over open water. So looking at the expected rain totals, up to one to two inches of rain from Beaumont to Galveston along the coastal areas. We very well could see an inch to two inches of rain. It's not out of the question that we could see even four inches of rain in some locations. So something that we're going to have to keep an eye on, and that's definitely going to be the cause of our rainmaker as we head into next week. So for your seven day forecast, we're going to be mostly dry, just hot in the next three days with those high temps topping out in the mid to upper 90s, overnight lows in the 70s, lots of sunshine expected as well. So practice those heat safety measures if you're out and about for the next two to three days. But then on Sunday, Sunday afternoon, we are expecting that rain chance to creep back in in the form of that tropical moisture as we track that system well south of us over the Bay of Campeche and that rain chance is going to last at least through next Wednesday.